Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you about some new releases from Louis Vuitton and also how you can actually get bags that are very similar on the pre-loved market that are still Louis Vuitton um, but are just from past seasons. So before we get started, if you're new here, my name is Kate and I love to make videos all about fashion and lifestyle and home decor. So if you're interested in that, I would love for you to subscribe um, and like this video if you enjoy it. Uh, another note, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm actually filming this from my desk, so the background's a little bit different. Um, I wanted to be able to use my computer to kind of walk you through the bags and make sure I had all the accurate information. So also if I'm looking down a little bit, that's because I'm looking at the screen, so I don't want that to drive you nuts and be like, what the heck is she looking at? So uh, let's go ahead and get started with the video. So the first bag I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Papillon BB. So that this is a um, new release for Louis Vuitton, but the Papillon itself is a pretty classic bag from them. It's been around for quite a while. Um, you can actually find several variations of this bag, not in the BB and not in the um, sort of emprunt leather reverse that it's shown on the website, but in, um, the monogram canvas, you can find it. I actually found one that's in um, relatively decent condition on Fashion File for only $300. So considering that this bag retails for um, like well over two, that is a really great option. But then I found one in the Jamier Abin canvas from Rebag um, for $835. So still well below what you would pay for it new. Um, but that is going to be a little bit pricier, but it is in much better condition. So if you are looking to just get the style that Louis Vuitton is currently selling, obviously these aren't going to be the BB. They're a little bit bigger and they don't have the crossbody strap, but you could always add a crossbody strap. Um, I've done that for several bags and I can actually link below um, some Etsy shops where you can buy the loops to put on your bag um, and carry them that way. But when I was looking through, I also noticed that this um, Papillon BB kind of reminds me a lot of the Suffolot. I think I'm saying that correctly. And that's um, the Suffolot Pochette. And this is another bag that I found in Epi Leather in blue. But one has gold hardware, and that is from Fashion File, and you can get it for $245. And then, um, you, I also found one blue but with silver hardware in the Epi Leather again for $320 from Rebag. So obviously excellent savings if you are looking to have that Papillon look but you don't necessarily need it new from the store and you want it at a much bigger discount than what the Papillon currently goes for. Uh, Papillon is $28.40 and you could be getting these for $245 um, just in an Epi Leather combination and then you obviously could add straps to it um, and make that like a really um, similar bag to what's currently being sold and then Louis Vuitton also has the Papillon trunk which is in the monogram canvas and is honestly absolutely adorable but again that's re retailing for $27.60 so um, that's not as bad it's under to Papillon BB which obviously is going to be more expensive than the emprunt leather but um, still pretty expensive compared to what you can get the um, Suffolk pochettes for. And I actually found a Suffolk that has the mama and baby with it. So you could do this um, from Vestiaire. It's $4.69, so more expensive than the other two. But again, so much cheaper than what you could get it new for. And it is in a brown leather, um, the cam or not canvas, um, and it comes with the larger Suffolk and then the little pochette that came with it. Um, and that pochette, I think, is going to be similar to the vibe that you're looking for if you want just the BB. So then the next style that I found that I thought was so similar to the Papillon BB and the Papillon trunk was the um, Bedford bag. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this one, but you actually can get one um, for $100 plus shipping from eBay. So if you're willing to kind of take the risk on an eBay bag, um, you could definitely get it for a fraction of the cost. But if you did want to go through a certified reseller, um, I found one on Fashion File for $3.95. Um, 
and then also one on rebag um, in a different color both of them would be in the vernie leather though for 780 so those are great options as well if you're looking for that papillon um kind of rounded look but you don't want to pay full retail um but you also want something a little bit bigger i think these don't come in kind of this very small size that the um cephalot comes in so that's kind of depending on what you were looking for if you are wanting kind of like an inspired by look, um, not one that kind of looks directly like the Papillon, there is also the, the Nocturne bag, and I found one of these on Rebag for $6.55, and the, it's in a black epi leather, um, so that is actually has a flap to it, um, but gives the same sort of look, I think, and that has a shoulder, one shoulder strap, so that one you couldn't add um, kind of like a crossbody strap to it, uh, but it does have feet. So if you're one of those people who likes to protect the bag um, and you want sort of maybe like a smarter look, I would definitely look at the Nocturne um, because I think that that could be a great option. So the other bag that I saw on the Louis Vuitton site that was new is the Loop. Um, so I don't know if you guys have seen this. It comes in sort of a denim it also comes in the revamped 1854 print, um, so that's a canvas, and that one is 2480, whereas the denim is 2440. You can get the loop also in monogram for 2120. So if you wanted that, I think is the the cheapest, but they are all sold out. All three prints are sold out right now. So. Um, if you want the look and a want a deal but also want um you know a bag that you can purchase right now i found some other options so keeping in mind that the cheapest you can get the loop is for 2120 in the monogram canvas um i actually think it looks kind of gives the same vibe as the rhapsody handbag and so that one comes in um kind of the older small monogram look so that um, does maybe date the bag a little bit, but I was able to find one of them um, on Rebag for right around 570, and I found a couple other ones at Trade Z and things like that, but all right around that 570 mark. So still saving a lot from uh, the 2120 uh, canvas and then the 2440 um, denim print if you wanted that. Another one that I think is pretty similar if you wanted to go that monogram canvas route is the croissant handbag. Um, and that, I think, I know I found a GM one, but um, hopefully I'll be able to show one on the screen in like a PM or MM because that would look even more like the um, loop bag. And then if you, I thought that if you wanted sort of more be a smarter look and um, kind of wanted like the same smaller handle but with an option to go crossbody they have the montane sack handbag um and so that one i found in epi leather um with silver hardware and on rebag for 960 so it is pricier but again you can um definitely get savings and be under a thousand dollars with this bag um for the kind of same like dipped in loop but this is definitely more of an inspired by look than sort of like trying to have a dupe for it um and then finally to that kind of give me the same vibe but really don't have as much as a dip so if you really are looking for that sort of loop shape these won't be for you but maybe if you want you know something again sort of inspired by uh the romance bag from louis vuitton and that again is in the smaller monogram print so not seen as often but i found that one from rebag for 925 and then also the um manon is another bag um and that gives the same it's more flatter so if you don't like having Having to deal with a zip that's kind of like curved at the end the manin might be a better option for you and that one I was able to find on rebag for 780 so given that the cheapest you can find any of these ones that I mentioned either the loop or the papillon um, is 2120 and then the papillon goes up to 2700 plus I think um, definitely take a look at some of these sort of inspired by or very, very similar bags um, 
which you know you could even get one for a hundred bucks on eBay if you're willing to kind of take that risk with a pap with a Bedford um, and then you could you know just add a strap to those handles and make it a crossbody or if you really wanted to sort of embrace the micro bag trend you could definitely do the Suffolot, um BB or I'm sorry the Suffolot pochette I had Papillon BB on the brain um, you could definitely do that and then add, you know, a crossbody and really embrace that. And they come in the beautiful epi leather, um, the blue. So that is really versatile as well. Um, and for $245 from Fashion File, I think that's just an amazing deal. Um, and obviously you can still buy the Papillon in the monogram and Damier Abin. The monogram one that I found on Fashion File for 300 is an amazing deal, but you can also find them, you know, right around a thousand or a little bit above if you want like kind of a pristine look. Um, so I don't want to keep rambling on. I just thought it was pretty interesting that Louis Vuitton seems to be reviving some styles, especially, you know, things that were maybe popular in the 90s and are back around and maybe you don't want to spend you know 2400 plus on a new handbag that's you know m might not be a classic style that you couldn't see yourself wearing forever and ever but you definitely can get the look for less and still with the designer brand and quality behind it um and then i personally wouldn't feel as bad splashing out to spend a hundred or 200 300 dollars on a bag um that i wasn't entirely sure if it was going to be forever but i knew i could get a couple years use out of it and really fall, still follow the trends and feel like i'm participating in it um so just wanted to give you guys this kind of an update today and i hope that you enjoyed this kind of video it's the first one um that i've done like this so if you did please let me know and i can kind of try and find similar bags um and i could also try and see you know maybe you're not a louis vuitton girl or boy um maybe you like to dior or fendi or chanel and we could kind of try and see if there's new releases from those houses that do also pull from um, the archives and previous styles that you can get a great deal on. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you liked and subscribed to the channel and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys.